Hi, I'm Max Rocchetti, and I'm the Chief Creative Officer of Luma Studios. I want to thank everybody, Epic Games, for having us on this panel. Uh, we feel very humbled and honored to be in the company of such superstars of the movie making business. Thank you. Just to uh, give you a little backstory on how we got here. Two years ago, we uh, started developing our own uh, tools um, for virtual production. And I got invited at the first virtual production summit in Los Angeles, where I was able to reconnect with a lot of colleagues and friends that I hadn't seen in a long time. And most importantly, uh, we were showed this demo that now I think it's world famous, the famous bike demo. When we came back to Italy, I was completely focused on how do we get this smart stage initiative off the ground. And uh, my roadmap looked like this. In our rounds of meetings, uh, we met with a lot of people. And uh, one day uh, we got approached by um, my friend and producer at Indiana Productions, Alessandro Mascheroni. And uh, he asked me, okay, if we had the show, how fast can you get a smart stage ready? You need to do it in like one month. We had a really tough challenge ahead of us, and but I also knew we couldn't have had a better chance uh, and we wouldn't have had another chance. So we just had to bite the bullet and do it. We actually decided to organize a couple of tests because we needed to pick our, you know, uh, weapons of choice. Uh, so choose the best combination uh, of LED panel versus camera versus uh, lens package versus filters. When we uh, brought back the uh, footage uh, from the lab, uh, we realized that uh, we had a show. And that convinced uh, everybody to uh, green light the show and, um, and uh, start pre-production. So after uh, coming back from the test, we scouted the, the soundstage that was available to us and we uh, quickly realized that our first design uh, wouldn't work. We couldn't actually hang the LED roof from the natural attach points. So the first piece of advice I can give to you is make sure when you scout the stage, you're scouting with the person that knows that stage inside and out and knows exactly, you know, how much weight the structure point where you're gonna attach yourself can carry in terms of weight. So we had to go back to the drawing board and our new design looked something like that came straight out of a Megadeth concert. One thing is bringing a film into a virtual production permanent stage where you are working in a controlled environment uh, where all the you know factors and, and variables have been already uh, you know ironed out but when you actually are bringing the virtual production on a set that's not been designed for that uh, that's a whole different ballgame so you need to take an account a lot of things. We had mostly like three sequences uh, and uh, the main sequence would uh, take place on uh, the Martian landscape. So we concentrated our efforts in creating uh, the Martian environments. We built out uh, 64 square kilometers of Martian landscape and then, you know, modeled and generated a separate hero assets that we would use like such a like major mountains and everything and hills and um, once these you know libraries of rocks and assets was done we shared it with the art uh, department to make sure that uh, whatever 
set build that they would work on, it would actually match our color palette and our shapes so that uh, the virtual environment and the physical set would actually blend seamlessly. So while content production was uh, moving forward in Milan, it was time to go down to Rome and start building the, the LED wall. And, um, you know, so many factors uh, come in when, again, you know, when you're building this thing and there are all these components that need to, need to talk to each other. Uh, need to accept each other's signal and make sure they play well. There is no lag. Lots of sleepless nights for us to get this conundrum to work. We are a week away from shoot. LED wall is up and running. Uh, there's just one tiny problem. Um, I had no storyboards. I don't know what we're gonna shoot on the day. And I asked myself, okay, how would I shoot this in order to have enough coverage, you know, to, to actually edit the scene. We basically created and dressed uh, six locations and each one of these locations had a master shot and a reverse angle. That meant having 12 different lighting setups. So we needed a system that would allow us to switch locations, cameras, and lighting setups and do it with a flick of a button. That required quite a bit of work from the guys at Pixela Labs that have been amazing in creating a custom tool set that really saved the day. So um, it was highly stressful, uh, but also very rewarding to do magic. You know, we could like jump from A cam to B cam to reverse angle of A cam. People that were behind the screen, uh, filmmakers and producers alike could not believe their eyes what we were able to do in real time as the shoot was actually happening. So you're probably wondering what the end result was. Uh, and uh, I can show you like a couple shots of the show. Show is a comedy, so don't take the visuals too seriously. And this one here, uh, we see the main character standing outside on the Martian landscape. This one was particularly tricky because in the background, we didn't have the usual Martian landscape and um, the camera move is also uh, pretty wild. That's a combination of, you know, tracking and panning. The next shot is the reverse angle of uh, the previous shot. It's pretty, it's pretty nice shot. And I think the connection between the LED wall and the physical uh, set, it's, it's pretty good. And this one shot, uh, it might seem uh, easier because there's no connection between the LED wall and the physical set, but instead we ended up, um, you know, uh, comping some reflections on top to make sure you had the feeling that there's actually a glass between the interior of the airport and the exterior of the airport. At the end of the day, we got all our shots in the game and we did it without a single hour of overtime. Considering that this sequence was scheduled to be shot just like a traditional shoot, it was a very tight schedule, where in fact we were in uncharted territory. So that's a small feat in itself. And the only way I was able to do it is because I had like crew members that were trained, knew what the dynamics on set were, knew what the chain of command was, and reacted accordingly. I hope this presentation was somewhat helpful to you and um, for all of you guys that are out there, you know, it just goes to show that if you put your mind to it, it's possible. 
Chao from Max at Luno Studios. Take care. Thank you to Warner Brothers and Indiana Productions for supporting us, for believing that we could pull this off. And thank you so much to Epic Games for supporting us from day one and um, inviting us um, to this panel.